Hello and welcome back. So today we're going to continue our talks and we're actually going to be looking at different types of printers. You know, these are devices that we don't really think much about because they're, they're just there and we just use them. Um, but you know, there are a lot of different types of printers out there and they all have their special abilities and as well, we're going to spend some time and we're going to talk about like key features that you probably want to think about when you're looking at, um, you know, to purchase a printer, like what would be best for you, things to think about and everything. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of information. We're going to look at several different types of printers as well. So let's jump into it. So as we're saying, you know, printers, what these do, it, it makes us, um, provides us the ability to take information from the computer and actually place it on the paper. So if you think about this, you know, you type a, a document into uh, Microsoft Office, and then you want to be able to print it out to submit it or to give it to someone else so they can look at it. Our printers provide us with that ability to take the information from the computer and put it on the paper. And as well, um, what we like to do is we actually call this a hard copy. The reason we call it a hard copy is because it's something that you can physically touch and it's not something that resides within your computer as well. So a hard copy, you know, it's the, the result of printing a document or printing something from your computer. You know, it could be an image, um, pictures as well. So, you know, think of that, that a hard copy is something you can physically touch. So, um, like, what type of features do we have um, in printers that we should worry about and think about when we're, you know, purchasing them? So let's jump into the slides and actually look at some of the features. So some of the key features we should look at are your resolution, you know, color, speed, memory, duplex, and paper size. So one of the reasons we want to think about these is, you know, that all printers have a different type of resolution. And if you're going to print an image, you're going to want to have some, you know, a high resolution so that when you print it out that the image looks good on paper. So keep that in mind that resolution is very important. Color, you know, color, this kind of goes, um, you know, don't really need to explain this one much, but, you know, obviously if you want to print something in color, you're going to want to make sure that your uh, printer supports color. So keep that in mind. And then speed as well, you know, you want to think about how fast do I want my printer to print. So we usually see this as abbreviation of PPM, pages per minute. So you want to keep that in mind when you're looking at printers and look at your PPM so you can see how fast the printer prints. You know, if you're going to be printing large documents and everything, you're probably going to want a printer that has a faster rate of printing. You're not going to want to have something that's printing only like one or two pages per minute. So, you know, if you went to go and print like a 30-page document, you're going to be sitting there for a while waiting for it to finish printing. And another one as well that you want to think about is memory. And, you know, just like our computers, our printers have memory as well. And the memory, you know, this kind of dictates the size of um, documents that our printers are able to, to store and print as well. So you want to have more memory on your computer as well. Duplex is, a well, is another one we want to think about because, you know, we always want to be a little more environmentally friendly. And so duplex provides us with the ability to print on the front and the back of the paper as I have here. So you can actually see in my notes that I have printing on the front, I flip it over and there's printing on the back. So you can see that, you know, duplex, it provides us with the ability to print on the front and the back of the paper. And as well, another one we want to take into account is the paper size. So if you want to print larger pieces of paper, you're going to want to make sure that your printer supports it. You know, so keep that in mind if you're going to be printing stuff on legal size paper, you're going to want to make sure that your printer will support printing on legal size paper. So hopefully you can see that that's a lot of information about, you know, printers that you should think about when you're looking at them and purchasing them. So, you know, there's a lot of different ones that we have and everything. So let's look at different types of printers that we, you know, we can use and we can see. So there are several types. So one of the most common ones are our inkjet printers. And we will look at each of these in a little bit more of detail as well. We have our laser printers. We have our 3D printers. We have cloud printers, we have plotters, and thermal printers. So let's just jump right in and look at inkjet printers. So you can see here is like an image of an inkjet printer. You can see that we have, you know, there's a, on the left side that there's a slot for, um, you know, black ink, and then we have our blue, red, and yellow. So we have our slots for um, the ink, and you can see the cartridges are pretty small. And how an inkjet printer works, it actually sprays the ink onto the paper and you know they are pretty reliable as well they you know they function they get some pretty good life out of them 
Um, and, you know, they're quiet, so they don't make a lot of noise when they're printing, so that's nice um, as well. They're inexpensive. You know, you can go and buy a good inkjet printer for around $100 now. Though part of the problem is that, you know, that the ink isn't very cheap. If you go and you buy new ink cartridges, you're probably going to be spending close to almost the same amount as you would on an inkjet printer. So, you know, you got to take that into account, like how much is the ink going to cost? How much, um, you know, does the printer cost? So you keep, keep that in mind when you're looking at printers. Something I would recommend doing is seeing if you can find a different, you know, instead of buying a new print cartridge or new ink cartridge every time, see if you can find ones that will like places that will refill the ink cartridge for you. There are several out there, um, you know, and when you refill them, it usually it's a lot less expensive. So keep that in mind that you can find these alternatives as well. Instead of buying new ones, you can find a way of refilling them and save yourself money as well. So let's jump back into the slides and look at the next type of printer, which is our, our laser printer. You can see the laser printer, you know, it's a little, it looks pretty much the same, but, um, you know, there are some differences in this as well, where our laser printers actually, it uses laser light um, to actually get the image onto the paper. And as well, usually our laser printers are faster. So if you're thinking about your pages per minute, laser printers are great because they do have a faster um, you know, print speed. And as well, they provide excellent quality. So if you're looking to print images or pictures or things like that, you know, your laser printer is a great printer to use to print um, those types of documents. This doesn't use ink um, as our inkjet printers does, but it uses something called toner which if you ever look at it, it's kind of like a powdery substance. So you get um, these and they look like little drums that you can use and you put in to your printer. So they are a little bit different that we can see. And usually as well, our laser printers are a little more expensive. So you can see that they do provide us um, with more features though, you know, better features because they provide better quality. They provide us with a faster print rate. Um, and usually with the toner, you can, get probably I would say compared to inkjet in my experience I usually get more pages um, from using toner a toner um, cartridge than I do an inkjet, car, inkjet cartridge as well um, and toner you know it does cost you more but you know you're getting more out of it so you got to keep that in mind as well um, that it does cost you more but you're getting you know more pages you'll be able to print out of it so now let's actually move to looking at a different type of printer that is kind of a you know, it's a newer type of printer that we're seeing um, widely used and you're, you're probably hearing things about it in the news as well. So this is actually, it's a 3D printer that we're, uh, we're going to look at. And so you can see here that, you know, the printer is actually printing something uh, as well. And so our 3D printer actually, you know, it's not like your regular printer where it's printing on just a piece of paper. It's actually building an object. So you can actually create 3D shapes. And the way it does this is it does it from the bottom up. So you can actually use a 3D printer and construct your own like, you know, the own th your own little things that you want. So if you want to build, you know, like a, a little plastic case to hold something, you can actually use a 3D printer to do this. You want to build a little like model car um, as well, you can do that. You can use your 3D printer and do this. And you're hearing a lot of people using these, um, you know, within the maker movement. Um, people are using these to construct their own things and their own items as well. So, um, you know, it's a pretty cool thing. and you know, if you ever have the chance to actually see one in use, they're pretty, they're pretty cool to see in use as well. So now, you know, we've looked at other types of printers. Let's go and look at um, one that's, that's kind of, it's a cloud-based. So let's go and look at our cloud-based printers. So our cloud-based printers, you know, obviously if it's in the cloud, it's got to be connected to the internet. So our, these are, you know, printers that are connected to the internet. And what it does, it provides us with a printing service. So we can use these printers and, you know, as it's connected to the cloud, we can print wherever we have an internet connection. Some examples of these are actually cloud print by Google and, you know, ePrint by HP. So these are services that you can sign up for and your printer can be a part of them. And then you'll be able to print a document using that service and, you know, it'll print to your own printer at home using the cloud. So, you know, it's a pretty cool feature so that if you're anywhere else, you know, you're at Starbucks on their Wi-Fi, you need to print something, you can print it using your cloud-based printer and your document will be printed at home. So, you know, it's a pretty cool feature that we have um, nowadays as well. So if you're looking for this type of service, you know, 
look for a printer you know by HP that supports H um, ePrint or one as well that Google supports using their cloud print service as well. So now let's jump and look at um, these are kind of a cool type of um, printer as well. They're plotters. Plotters are um, you know a little bit different as you can see here this by this image we have this person standing behind this printer and if you look at the printer is like a lot bigger than she is. So plotters are great because you know it is a special purpose printer. And obviously you're kind of seeing like, yeah, it's got some huge paper. So you know, you're, it provides us the ability to print larger items as well. So if you want to use um, you know, a plotter, great things to use it for would be maps, images, or even posters. So you know, you, you could see that sometimes in classrooms as well that you know, you'll see posters that are printed out on large pieces of paper. Um, you know, plotters are great for this because if you want to do this on your regular inkjet or laser printer, you're going to be taking these pieces of paper and you're going to be pasting them together, taping them, cutting them, and trying to make them all look good. Where on a plotter, you'd just be able to take that, print it, and then it's going to be on one piece of paper. So you can see plotters make our lives a little easier for larger images or larger items that need to be printed. And finally, let's go and look at thermal printers, which is our last one that we have today. So thermal printers are a special type of printer as well because it actually uses heat to burn images onto the paper. Um, so when you think about these, think about receipts that you get in your, um, from like Best Buy or things like that. So, you know, that's your thermal printer. When you get the, you get the receipt, you leave it in your car, you go back a week later and you're like, where's my receipt? It's disappeared. You know, that's your thermal printer where the, it's heat activated and everything. So, you know, companies, when they tell you, make sure you keep this receipt and you look at it and you're like, well, this is a, Use it, uh, this was printed using a thermal printer, I know that this image isn't going to last. Go home, make a copy of it using, you know, maybe your, a scanner and print it out so you actually have a better copy of it that you can uh, maintain for your records. So, you know, we've looked at a lot of different types of printers and different features of printers. So hopefully, you know, this was interesting and thanks and we'll see you next time.